In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to all of you, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today in our Mass, we include in a very special way our brothers and sisters who have been affected by this typhoon, who until now, at this very moment, is experiencing the wrath of the typhoon. We pray for their safety. We pray for their deliverance. We pray that there will be people who will always be helping one another in times of need. Once again, we acknowledge first our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Holy Father, as the Blessed Virgin was at prayer with the apostles, you poured out on her in abundance the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Grant through her intercession that we too being filled with the same Spirit, may persevere with one mind in prayer and bring to the world around us the good news of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. One day, when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job? And that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil. But Satan answered the Lord and said, Is it for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his livestock are spread over the land. But now put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them. And the Sabines carried them off in a raid. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven, and he struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three columns, 
seized the camels, carried them off, and put those tending them to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother. When suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house, it fell upon the young people, and they are dead, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night. Though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and yes. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then his mother and his brothers came to Jesus, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it must be something that is new to the people who told Jesus uh, in that event na yung nanay mo at saka mga kapatid mo ay nasa labas at inaantay ka. And typically kapag ka ganoon, what would you do? You go out, you meet them, and you talk to them because these are people who are close to our, to our hearts, close to us mga kapatid, kapamilya. And yet, it must be very striking because what the Lord said, uh, yung nanay ko at saka yung mga kapatid ko ay yung mga taong 
nakikinig sa akin, and not only nakikinig sa akin, but act on it. It is very significant, especially for us, that uh, the Lord gave this answer sapagkat uh, it opens the possibility for a wider family, for a bigger family that would include you and me. Yung nanay at saka mga kapatid, ibig sabihin yung pamilya ng Diyos ay malawak, hindi makitid, marami, hindi kaunti. Lahat kasali, hindi iilan lang. And yet, yung pagiging miyembro ng pamilya na yon would require two things. Ang linaw sa Ebanghelyo, sino man ang nakikinig sa akin, sa aking mga salita na pinagninilayan ito at sinasabuhay ito. At pangalawa, yung people who act on it. Mahalaga po yun sapagkat... Uh, yung preaching ng ating Panginoon ay hindi lang napapakinggan. It must set things into motion. It must be able to be felt, be seen, be heard, be, be touched by the people around. Katulad na nga lang po ngayon, habang uh, binabayo, habang I'm sure there are many parts in our country that uh, sa ngayon ay dumadaan, o dinadaanan ng, ng, ng bagyo and uh, our thoughts are not only with them, our prayers are not only for them, but it should go beyond simply thinking and simply praying because the gospel that we read today is requiring us to do something more. Listening, yes, but authentic listening is something that would propel us to do something. Pag napakinggan mo yung isang bagay na naantig ka, ganda ka ng, ng salitang naantig, sapagkat kapag ka naantig ka, it drives you to do something about it. Meron bang naaantig na wala man lang na ginagawa? Uh, meron bang tawag nito naaantig na okay, tapos na yun? No? Uh, naramdaman ko na, no. It requires, it demands, it asks, it invites, it challenges us to do something more beyond simply listening and beyond simply uh, reflecting on, on what is happening around us. It requires, ang ganda no, sapagkat maraming po pwedeng gamitin na verb ang ating Panginoon dito sa pangalawang hinihiling niya, but it, it used the word to act on it. When you are, when we feel something that the, that is, uh, we are being demanded to do something, then act on it. When we feel that there are people who are in need, the requirement is not only maawa, but also the demand is something to do something about it. Yun yung, yun yung membership sa pamilya ng ating Panginoon, to listen and to do something about it. Marami mga pagkakataon sa buhay nating Kristiyano ang humihiling ng beyond simply listening, beyond simply awa. But genuine awa is something that propels us to do something about it. So today, as we celebrate once again the fourth day of the Nubina, no, at kakarampot ang andi dito sa loob ng simbahan, but marami naman po ang alam namin ang nakikiisa sa online mass sa ngayon, uh, we pray for your safety. We pray for each other's safety. We pray for each other na ang lahat ay nasa mabuting kalagayan sa mga panahon na ito. We pray for that. We continue to pray for that. But ito rin yung mga pagkakataon na to na alam natin na mas nangangailangan ng pagdamay. Konkreto. That's acting. Nangangailangan ng pagtulong. Konkreto. And that's acting. And that's the second part of the requirement of the Lord in the gospel that we read today. Ang tanong, do we belong to the family of Jesus Christ? If yes, then I am very sure that demand are two things. To listen to the word of God, not only to listen to it, but to act on it. Kind of awesome. Our Heavenly Father has raised marriage and family, family life 
into a living sacrament of his life and love. Let us pray to him that the bonds of love grow stronger among us. We trust, we pray, bless your people. Bless your people, that the church may become a true instrument in the deepening of the faith of children. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your people, Lord. That government leaders may show deep concern for securing a better tomorrow for all children. May children be free from all forms of abuses. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your people, Lord. That parents may teach their children proper values and provide them training and education. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your people, Lord. That the sick may have a childlike confidence in God the Father who cares for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your people, Lord. That the dead may be led back to the house of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your people, Lord. Now we pray in a very special way, not only for the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary Banawag, but for all who are, have been affected and are still now being affected by this typhoon, that they may find people to help them in this time of need. We pray to the Lord. Bless to your people, Lord. Now we pause for a while and in silence, you may now offer your personal intentions. Loving Father, strengthen the bonds of love that keep us together as families, as a nation. Come to our homes, direct our lives according to your will. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord God, receive these gifts from joyful hearts and grant that we may follow closely the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary by obeying the voice of the Spirit and seeking to praise your glory in all things. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, how wonderful is the example you have given us of harmony and prayer in the church. At this beginning, you show us the mother of Jesus as she prays with the apostles in oneness of mind and oneness of heart. She who waited in prayer for the coming of Christ is still at prayer. As she calls the promised paraclete, she who was overshadowed by the Spirit at the incarnation of the Word is once more filled with your gift from on high at the birth of God's new people. As she keeps vigil in prayer, her heart of fire with love 
she is a model of the church, enriched by the gifts of the Spirit, and keeping watch for the second coming of Christ. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant, grant us, us peace. peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, am not, not worthy Lord. that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, you have fed your people, your holy people, with the one bread of life. Renew us by the one gift of the Holy Spirit and grant that under the protection of the Blessed Virgin, we may work for the unity and peace of all those for whom your Son offered himself as a sacrifice of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica at sa pakigiisa sa Banal na Misa. We continue to pray for one another, especially in these very trying moments in our lives as Filipinos and as Christians. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with this blessing. 
Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing of the sick and also prayer for the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now bless your religious articles in memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.